Hello, today we're at Heathrow. It's May 2024 and Priority Pass have just increased their food and beverage credit from 15 to 18 pounds. We're going to look at what the credit is, how we can use it and where. So our first stop today is Terminal 3. You need to head upstairs above the Virgin Atlantic check-in counters to find the Oceanic. Let's head inside and use our 18 pounds. Okay, so what's the deal with these food and beverage credits? Well, Priority Pass normally gets you into around 1,300 airport lounges across the world. But recently, it's becoming harder and harder to actually get into them. I reckon I've got a 25% success rate of actually managing to use the lounge element of the pass. Why is that? Well, every man and his dog now seems to have free lounge access, whether that's through Priority Pass itself. You can now get free lounge access when you book a holiday through certain places and credit card rewards across UK mainly and USA as well quite heavily. Um, everyone now seems to be able to get into a lounge through some sort of medium. So given that it's really hard to actually get in, everyone was kicking off that I'm spending money on a pass that doesn't actually deliver what it's supposed to do. So a couple of years back now, Priority Pass introduced these food and beverage credits initially at £15 here in the UK. Um, as I said, that has been weighted now by 20% in May this year, so you now get £18 to spend. I think it's €25 Euros or US dollars. I'll check and put it on screen what you actually get. Um, the great thing about these credits are that you don't need to be in a lounge to use them. Now, most of these places where you can use the credit are airside. At Heathrow, there's two places which I'm going to show you today which are landside. And one of the great things is that actually the food that you're going to get in some of the restaurants that Priority Pass are partnered with is actually better than what you will get in the lounge. So how do we redeem our credit? Well, I usually head over to the bar when I first arrive and ask if they're taking Priority Pass guests. If they're full, they can refuse, but I've never had this happen. Assuming there's space available, the staff will then scan your Priority Pass and then either scan your boarding pass or simply ask for your flight number. Once the details are captured, you'll receive your credit in the form of a voucher just like this one. So as you can see, here's the menu. £18 isn't going to get you much, but it's going to get you more than what 15 would have done back in April. Here's a bonus. If there's two of you with a priority pass each, you can pull your credit together to get £36 to spend, handing maybe for a bottle of wine or a selection of small plates perhaps. Let me know what you're ordering down in the comments. I've gone for the burger, £17.95, leaving five pence on the table. It was good, but you don't need to see me eat it. Okay, that's us finished up in here. Let's head over to Terminal 5 and check out the globe. I'm showing you Heathrow today, but where else can you use these credits? I'll put it on screen now and chat through. Nine airports in the UK offer meal credits, mainly focused around London, but spread through the regions too. Heathrow though is the only place you can use these landside. I think anyone that's managed to redeem 18 pounds at Starbucks in Manchester, you've probably done pretty well there. Incidentally, if you are changing terminals at Heathrow, remember, it is free. Just tap in and the gates will open, but you won't get charged. This video is different to my usual. I've trip reports coming up on Singapore Airlines, Virgin Atlantic, Iberia, China Southern, amongst others. They're all coming soon. Let me know which one you want to see first down in the comments. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. Okay, so checked in here at the Globe. Notice how similar the menus are. Look familiar? Given I've had my lunch, I think it's time for a Guinness. Now I should mention that like any time you use your priority pass, you do have to actually be traveling. So you do need a valid boarding pass. You can't just rock up here at Heathrow and expect to unveil 18 quid uh, for no real reason. So not all priority passes are created equal then. The best way to look at this is to split them into three buckets. Bucket one, you've bought your priority pass directly from priority pass themselves. Bucket two, you've got a priority pass issued through American Express. And bucket three, your priority pass is issued by another UK bank, Lloyds or HSBC, for example. Thank you. Cheers. Mojito. Now, whilst all of these tiers can access the £18 credit, if you have a standard priority pass and pay £24 per use, this will clearly leave you £6 worse off, so don't do it. Similarly, if you've maxed out your 10 free visits on a standard plus membership, again, you're gonna be out of pocket here. A note on guest passes, don't use these unless your guests are free on your card. Again, a £24 charge for an £18 credit isn't gonna leave you feeling happy about it.
On to Group 2, and those with an Amex issued Priority Pass might be disappointed, as the credit doesn't come with the majority of Amex cards. The only exception here in the UK is the new Pizza Express that's opened in Gatwick South, and then there's a place in Berlin as well where you can use it too. Finally, those in Bucket 3, which is how I manage my personal access via a Priority Pass issued by another UK bank, Lloyds or HSBC, they give you full unlimited lounge access across the world, plus the use of these credits. It's effectively the prestige package that Priority Pass will offer direct, yet Lloyds Bank only charge £15 a month. And you can include your number two as a secondary card holder, meaning you get both the benefits, effectively £7.50 per pass per month. And if you fly a lot and you can redeem 10 of these credits per year, you're in the clear. Okay, I need to head off now. My flight actually leaves from Terminal 4, and I can't be spending all day eating and drinking for free. A big shout out to the guys over at Head for Points. It's a great website if you're UK based, all around airline loyalty programs, frequent flyer status, mileage, lounge access like we've looked at today, and these reward credits too. It's a really great resource, and thank you so much for providing that. There's some fantastic articles on their website and that's really how I learn all my knowledge about this sort of stuff. I've linked some articles in the comments, so make sure you check them out if you want to learn some more about what we've been up to today. Okay, that's me here at Terminal 4 now. A little bit different this video for the channel. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Do you want to see more videos like this in the future? Or should I just stick to getting on airplanes and filming what goes on inside them? Thanks very much for watching. I'm off to Beijing now. We'll see you next time.